This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams, and we're playing with the connection with Miss Annie. She's getting bored. She's getting bored. That's right. Good. Light feel on both reins, and feel that you can ride her with your seat and legs. Good. Let her go more forward if she wants to go more forward. All you're going to have is an even feel on both reins. Post slower. Push your lower leg forward so your weight sinks down into your heel. There. That's it. Even feel on both reins and see if you can bring her shoulder over at the trot. Take your time. Step lightly into your... It's all right. Good. <laughs> That's it. Notice well, as you go back in, is she in a shoulder forward position? So you've got to make sure your belly and the front of the saddle are pointing slight to the inside. Good. Praise her. Even feel on both reins. It's all right. This is new to her to have connection from your leg to your rein. So she's going to wobble back and forth. She'll get a little offended at times. Just let it be. There's nothing she's doing wrong. She's just learning. Praise her. Good. That's it. Position her. Do more curves. Because they'll let you be able to do more things with your hands, really. Yep. If her nose is up, you're just going to softly supple because what she'll do is challenge your feel of your hand right now. The feel. Because this is new to her to be on a connection. She doesn't know what it really means yet. So she's going to push up against it. She's going to push down against it. And you just try to follow it as much as you can. Good, good. Praise her. And work with riding more from your seat and legs. Point your belly button in the direction you want to go so your thighs guide her shoulders. That's it. Good. That's it. Slow down your posting. Just take your time. Good. Now you felt that when you did that downward transition. Was she connected? That's right. So she disconnected. That's what she's feeling. She's disconnected. So now you're going to think. Keep her back up. While, this is where you're going to pick up just a little bit of pressure on the rein. Just a little bit. Slow down the front end. Slower. 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 Until she walks. Slower. Slower. Good. What felt different in that transition? Uh, just stayed, stayed more together. She stayed more together, and all we did was think of slowing down the front end. I don't know why that works. Good. Take your time. Okay. Ask her to stay connected before you go into a trot. Take your time. Remember, you're going to try to be as soft as you can on those reins. That's it. Praise her. Good. Change of direction. Give her lots of changes. Now, do a half circle in reverse. Praise her. Good. When you come to the wall, you're going to start another half circle in reverse or a downward transition. Half circle in reverse. We're going to give her something different to do. That's her anticipating. Do you feel it? So my question is, is when she's anticipating, is she feeling your body doing something different? Good. That's it. Half circle in reverse. So she seems to be doing this at the same point down each half circle in reverse. Did you notice that? So that tells me you're doing something different with your riding position. So now when you do your half circle in reverse, where is it where she normally drops to you? Going into the curve, right? Into the curve. That's right. So we'll walk for a minute. Bring her pole back up. That was nice. Good girl. Pull up. Pick her head up a little bit. Add your outside leg. Good. And when you're ready, trot. We're going to play with the half circles in reverse again just to feel where that missing spot is. Good. Half circle in reverse. Even feel on both reins. Bring her shoulder over. Ride her shoulder. Here's where she likes to break, so add more leg. 
That's it. When you feel it, that's it. Good, good. You added push. Do you feel that? So now where you felt she was breaking before, you're going to add a little bit bigger trot. It's all right. It's all right. Connection is new to her. She's all right because this is the fourth time she's ever we've ever asked her to connect from your leg to the rein. She's going to get fussy. She's not going to know what to do. Your goal is just to ride her through it and realize this is part of her learning curve. Good. Now whenever she disconnects, you're going to start a curve like a half circle. So as soon as you feel her head coming up where she's dropping her back, start a half circle. Even feel on both reins. That's right. As soon as she does it again, you're going to start another half circle wherever you are. Praise her. Good. Another half circle. Point the front of her shoulders over. Good, good. That's it. Good, good, good. Do you feel what this is doing? Another half circle. And all I'm doing is noticing when she drops her back and picks her nose up. What she should be doing as she's learning how to do this. That's it. Half circle. Praise her. Notice how that sets her up into the right space. Praise her. Good. Half circle. Whatever size you need. Praise her. Yes, yes. You feel how that's helping her respond differently? She doesn't expect it, does she? Let's do a spiral now. Yes. Let's do a spiral. When you feel her starting to get disconnected, you're going to drive her forward more with your lower leg. It's all right. Good. It's all right. Praise her, praise her. Praise her a lot. This is really going to get her to listen more to your leg and to shift back. She's not going to be happy about it. Even feel on both reins. When you feel her getting fussy, drive her into your hands with your leg and praise her. Praise her. Praise her a lot. Praise her a lot. Good. Praise her a lot. Good. Now push her out in a leg yield feeling. Think leg yield. Push her out. Push her out more. Praise her, praise her, praise her. Good, good. Good. Come to this side. You're going to do it the other way in the middle. Or you can do it there. Change of rein. Good. You're going to think shoulder four coming in, so you're going to be using more of your outside rein and leg. We're going to the left. It's her weaker side. Good. Take your time. That's it. Good. When you feel her getting stuck, you're going to drive her forward and praise her. Good, Trudy. Yep. Check your connection, see if she's soft in her jaw, soft in her pole, soft in her neck. Take your time. Good, Trudy. Now you're going to leg yield out, pushing her against your outside rein and leg with your inside rein and leg. You'd use your inside leg now, 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 when the inside hind is off the ground. Yeah, how does that feel? Very good. Good. Yes, now you've got a different feeling for your trot. Take your time. That's it. When if, that's it. If, if, if you need to take a break, you can take a break. You what? She broke because I really took too much. Well, that's all right. Yeah, she's going to break a lot at first because this is new to her. So she's not being bad. This is new to her. Good, 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 good. Now when she starts getting fussy like that, start another curve. That's right. She's only being fussy because she's not used to the connection from the rein to the leg. She's not being bad. She's learning how to stay connected. When you feel her getting fussy, you just ask her to step up into the rein. Her reward is the rein gets lighter as a result. And as soon as she steps up, your legs get softer. That's it. Take your time. She might go too quick at times. She might go too slow. It doesn't matter. It's just part of her learning curve. Good. That's it. So you're going to think, yep, add a little leg yield feeling to it. Stay on the inside. Add a little leg yield feeling right there. Good. Oh, okay. Go to the left and do a leg yield feeling to the left. That's right. Push her over with your inside leg and rein and catch her with your outside rein and leg. Good. Okay, bring her to a walk with your body. Take a walk break. That was very good, Trudy. I need a walk break. 
I know, I know. So tell me what you were feeling with this exercise. What did we do that was different for her? Well, again, I think a lot of changes of direction are always good for rider and horse. Yes. Because then she's got to be focusing on, well, where do you want me to go? That's right. And sometimes she's with me and sometimes she's not. Yeah, she's always there. Yeah. Sometimes it's my timing, too. Yes. So I can't say it's all... Well, you can't say it's just your timing because she has never really been... This is like the fourth time we've connected with her. So it's not really the timing. It is just learning how to work together. That yeah. was nice. Yeah. Let her have a walk break. Good girl, Miss Annie.